In this video, I'll be talking about forces and matter. So, what is deformation? Deformation is when forces change the size and shape of an object. According to the Hooke's law, the extension of a spring is proportional to the load applied to it, provided it doesn't exceed the limit of proportionality. So, this is the Hooke's law equation. Our F is the load applied to it, which is the force. K is the spring constant or the stiffness of the spring and x is the extension of the spring which can be calculated by subtracting the initial length from the final length. So the unit for force is newtons, the unit for spring constant is newtons per meter, and the unit for extension is meter. This graph is a representation of the Hooke's law. The point P is the limit of proportionality, so anything before point P is elastic deformation. This is when object returns to the original shape when the force is removed. Anything after point P is plastic deformation, and this is when object does not return to the original shape even though the force is removed. Now we have pressure on solid. To calculate the pressure on solid, it is force over area, and the units for pressure is Pascal. So the pressure on solid is inversely proportional to the area. This means a larger area has a lower pressure and a lower area has a higher pressure. Now let's talk about the pressure on liquid and gas. P is your pressure which is measured in Pascal. Your H is your height or your depth of fluid which is measured in meters. Rho is your density which is measured in kilograms per meter cube. Your G is the acceleration due to gravity which is measured in meter per second square. In IGCSE, we use 10 meter per second square. It is also said that the pressure on liquid and gas is proportional to its height and its density. So how do we measure pressure? We measure pressure using these two instruments, which are the manometer and the barometer.